Hello. Here I am with the five days of Easter collaboration. Uh, today is officially uh, day one of the, of the collaboration. Uh, yesterday, well, I'm sorry, not yesterday. I guess it was the 25th was the kickoff, and we showed the kits, the Easter kits that Kara and Julie have made. Uh, and but I forgot to show the kit that was made for the five days. So I'm going to do that today. Um, they both have made Easter kits, which you can find on their Etsy stores. Uh, the links are going to be below the video. They are 50% off from now until March 31st. Uh, so if you want to join along, you can go there and you can find their five-day collaboration kits and you can also find their Easter kits and they're as I said half off. Each um, day we're supposed to take Julie's for example today Julie's day one images and then Kara's day one and combine them together and make projects um, and make any kind of ephemera you can make with it anything. So uh, this is the breakdown um, That was the share, which I did that share, but forgot, as I said. Um, the 25th uh, is today. It's Friday. Uh, and so each day on um, Wednesday and Friday thereafter, uh, the dates are listed here. If you can get a screenshot of that, um, Kara, I think, has it also on her Facebook page, so you can easily look at it there as well. Um, and each one of those days, if you post, uh, if you play along with us and you link us, make sure you use the five days uh, Easter 2022 on your videos to show your uh, makes. Then uh, Kara will and Julie will add that to the other videos, and will have a uh, you'll be part of the collaboration. And it's going to be a lot of fun seeing all the different. Uh, projects that come out of this. So this is day one, but before I show you my projects for day one, I want to show you the collaboration kits, both for Julie and for uh, Kara, and there are uh, five pro uh, pages for five days. So this is Julie's day one, and this is Kara's day one. Now the idea is to merge them together into some sort of ephemera to use in our junk journals. And they're quite different from each other. Kara's Joy's. This is day two of Julie's. And day two of Kara's. This would be day three of Julie. I printed out two of those by mistake. And then day three of Kara. This is day four of Julie. And day four of Kara. And here's day five of Julie and day five of Kara. Beautiful images. So for day one, what I decided to do was to make an envelope. And this is my envelope. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, the reason I ended up with an envelope is because I have a printer and ink inkjet printer that gets a little grumpy when it when I try to use uh, anything heavier than a regular copy paper and some days it'll print well for me and other days it will not well this is one of the days that it did not it was not printing the entire image it was leaving off probably about three quarters of an inch so what as I what I did was I printed on both sides having 
and having no luck at getting the full image, but it was set up enough that I could turn back, cut off the white edge, and then turn this back, and I stitched it, and then I, I glued on the rickrack. Okay. I've added some magnetic uh, circles to help keep it closed, and I covered those with uh, some of the extra paper that I had from all those messed up prints. So this is this is actually dominantly uh, the envelope is Kara's first day, and what, because I had those extra pages trying to print it out, I was able to cut out and match up images to form pockets. So in this one, I have the bunny there, and I did write in that it was a blank space there, but I wrote spring in there. This is Julie's uh, day one tag, which I added lace and ribbon, inking, and some uh, rose trim, which I thought went very nicely with it. So that'll make a nice little journaling tag. Then in this pocket, doing the same thing, using the extra pieces I had, this is Julie's, uh, one of her uh, images that kind of looks like, it looks. I'm sure it's supposed to be an Easter egg, hidden in with roses and butterflies, and I cut out a little chick and put him on there. And again, it could be probably journaled on if you choose to. I might uh, use these for dangles or uh, uh, belly bands. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them exactly, but right now they're being safely kept in this tuck. And I did the same thing on this side with one of the other eggs, and I cut out the butterfly and added that to it. And in the envelope, I'm keeping all the extra pieces that I have from the kits. For example, here is a journaling card that I made from Julie's kit. And so I will probably do a little bit more to it, and but that'll go into a journal for journaling. And then I decided also, just for fun, oops, close this up here, <laughs> to take a regular an envelope I had, and you can see that it's, well, maybe you can't see, but I, I used the method where you use a double back removable tape onto a regular piece of copy paper, I taped an envelope and I ran it through front and back using Kara's collage page. Now as you can see, I'm going to take that off and I did run it through as I said on this side. Now what I have to do is remove the, the tape which is easy to do, it just rolls off and I won't do that at this time. I won't bore you with watching me roll off glue. But what I'm going to do with this, now you can see that it it missed, I should have probably pushed it up off the edge of the paper a little more because I ended up having that white edge. So I could, should have sat it back on the paper a little bit further. That wouldn't have happened. But I don't, I don't mind that. I'm going to just ink all around here anyway. And then I also have some of of uh, Julie's images that I'm going to add to the envelope. I'm going to put stamps here. I'm going to put this on here. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to add this image over here somewhere. And I think I might mount this on a heavier card stock. And then I will use the envelope. And you can see that the uh, it didn't the image because the envelope was closed. It didn't uh, print in here. But I don't mind that. And I'm going to use this envelope along with this one to keep all my pieces together as I create my journal. Anyway, I hope you play along with us. As I said, all the information, the other collabor people in the collaboration, there's over 20 uh, other p women that are doing this, and uh, Julie and Kara are referring to us as 
elves. I've always wanted to be an elf. Hope to see you. Bye.